time for bank robbery. The latest battleground in the campaign for Evan Bayh's U.S. Senate seat is a demolition site in northern Indiana. Our political reporter, Kevin Rader, tonight on how hundreds of layoffs have become part of the 2010 campaign. Democrats touted their statewide ticket Monday in Indianapolis. At the top of that list, Congressman Brad Ellsworth, who's running for United States Senate. The number one issue that people want to talk about is jobs and, and recreating American jobs. That is why the congressman started his day in Wabash, Indiana, at the old GDX plant, which officially closed its doors November of 2007. The remnants of the old plant that employed 8,000 Hoosiers at the time it closed are now being torn down. Ellsworth alleges his Republican opponent, Dan Coates, was a paid lobbyist for Cerberus at the time the company decided to close the plant down, moving the jobs to Mexico. Who are you obliged to? The people of Indiana? Or to, to the person that's, that's writing you a, a pretty hefty check and who is buying your second home in North Carolina? Congressman Ellsworth is holding Coates accountable for the closing of this plant. And some of the folks we spoke to here agree. I wouldn't vote for him. Roger Smith on the right worked at GDX for nearly 40 years. His son William on the left for 17. No, no. I'm out of unemployment. 17 years versus two years of unemployment. That's it. But these types of uh, desperate, convoluted attacks have become norm for the Ellsworth campaigns. The Coates campaign did not dispute the fact that the candidate lobbied for GDX, but spokesperson Pete Seat said it involved only work related to Germany. That's it. There was no involvement with this, this company. It is an issue that the Ellsworth campaign disputes, and one that certainly has deep roots since GDX has operated in Wabash for over 70 years. Interesting. Well, you would expect the uh, Democrats and Republicans to fight, but now there's a 